I want to talk about proximity in relation to your goals. A lot of guys falsely believe that they are further away from achieving their goal than they think they are. When in reality, they could just be one or two moves away from achieving it. It could be three to six months away. But in their head, they're five years away. And that will set you back. That will actually delay your progress. I heard Ed Milet talk about it, actually. And when I heard him talk about it, I was like, wow, you know what? That's so true. If you believe you're further away, you'll naturally be a bit more relaxed and you won't work as hard and you'll make decisions slower. If you give yourself six months to achieve something, you'll get it done in six months. If you give yourself six years, I mean, it will take a lot longer. It may take six years. It may take seven, eight years. If you tell yourself, right, that's it. I'm going to clean my room entirely today. It's an absolute mess. I'm going to finish cleaning my entire room today. You'll get it done in one day. Regardless of how messy it is. If you tell yourself one day, that's all I'm giving myself to clean this place. I don't want it to drag out for a few days or a few weeks. I'm going to clean the damn mess in one day. That's what I'm giving myself. You'll get it done in one day. Now, look, I don't want you to be unrealistic and set a goal to be a millionaire within two weeks or a month because it takes time to build value. Remember what I always say, guys? Compensation is linked to competence. To get good at something, you're going to have to give yourself the time to go out there and prove your worth to the marketplace. However, there are significant leaps that can be made in a relatively short period of time, three months, six months. You know, someone once asked me, Ali, how do you set goals? And I always tell people that I don't like thinking too far ahead. I don't do five year, 10 year. I have a rough idea of where where I want to be in the future, of course, but I don't sit there and really think hard about 10 years from now. Because there's no point. If I focus on the next 6 to 12 months, I can pretty much guesstimate where the next 10 years or or what the next 10 years will look like. But a lot of guys, they'll skip the short-term goals and they'll think about the 10 or 5 year and they'll overwhelm themselves. Ah, 3 to 6 months is a good enough time frame, maximum a year. 12 months, maximum. You know, but three to six months, tell yourself, this is what I intend on achieving. I want to make, as an example, $10,000 from my business in the next six months. How can I How can I do that? And start working backwards, reverse engineer it, right? $10,000. You may have a product that sells for $500, as an example. So you need to sell 20 of those products. As an example, now that gives you an idea, okay, I need to sell 20. Break that down over six months. How many do I need to sell every single month? Right? Just over three a month. Okay, so, you know, compress time frames. Stop with a seven, eight year, compress it. Three to six months, this is what I intend on doing. And believe me, some of you guys are way closer to achieving that breakthrough that you're after than you think you are. I had to reprogram my mind. No, no, no. We are getting closer. We're very close. We're not five years away. We're very close. We're going to do it in six months. And even if we don't do it in six months, at least you'll get more done if you move with more speed and there's more urgency. And So, for example, in my case, if I set a goal to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, there's roughly six months left, right? Or just under six months left. If I say, for example, 100K subscribers... Naturally, my actions will be more intense, more urgent, because I've only got six months to achieve it. Now, if I say, in the next five years, I want my YouTube channel to get to 100,000, I'll be slow. I will be, naturally. I've got five years, mate. 
So six months. Now, even if I don't hit 100K, maybe I hit 35. I would have got to that 35 quicker than if I had kept the original long-term goal of achieving 100K in five years. I'm hoping this makes sense here, guys. Compressed time frames. You'll get more done in the next three to six months if you do that than you probably would have done in the next 24 to 36 months if you had set a really long-term goal. Okay, so move with speed. Compress time frames, move with speed. And remember, it's not the end goal isn't the be-all or end-all. Yes, goal setting is important. But it's the person you become in the process that's more important. I'm going to say that one more time. Yes, the end goal is important. But the person you become during the process is more important. Which is why I want you guys to be process orientated as opposed to end goal orientated. We all want the nice things. The nice cars, the nice houses, the million dollar a year income. We all want that. But if that's your only focus, the likelihood of you getting there is very slim. Whereas if you focus on creating as much value as possible, designing the best products as possible, delivering the best customer service as possible, creating the best art as possible, you will naturally get there faster than if you only focus on the money. Now remember, money is a consequence of value. So become better at what you do and the money will come. It's interesting. It's energy. It's a shift in energy. The less you focus on money, the more it focuses on you. Sounds strange, right? The less you focus on money, the more it focuses on you. Remember this quote from Jim Rohn, which I always reference? Success is looking for a good place to stay. Remember that. So become that person that's valuable enough to attract success. Success is looking for a good place to stay. All right, fellas, so hopefully this video on goal setting will provide you with value. I want you to go out there now and compress time frames. Get more done. You can. You've got more time, bro. Yeah, you've got more than enough time. You do. You've got more than enough time. Stop with the, yeah, but Ali, I'm short. Sure. Wake up earlier, bro. Wake up an hour earlier. Stay up an hour late. Not everybody works early, you know, great in the mornings. I get that. You know, I don't necessarily believe that people that wake up earlier are more successful. Although it's just the energy early on in the morning is is different. There's something very special about the energy early in the morning. But there are people that are extremely successful that stay up late. So whatever, whatever it is, you find the time. In fact, you don't even have to find it. It's there. Just make the time. If you really wanted to, you would. Remember what I referenced in my last video? Reasons or results. Either you come up with another bullshit reason as to why you're not where you want to be, or you get it done. You want to be known as the kind of guy, you know what, he gets things done. This guy, I don't know how he keeps collecting one splendacious W after the next. How does he keep doing it? He is an action-focused man. Yeah, he may talk. But he certainly backs up the talk. He walks it. Are you known for getting things done? Do people know you for that? For your work ethic? You know what? I can't fault the guy. He's always out there achieving things. It's incredibly inspiring. It really is. Those are the best leaders, by the way. Those who go out there on the battlefield and show others what they do. As a saying, I can show you better than I can tell you. You know, for example, those that want to create content, look, I'm creating content every single day. Am I sat at a million subscribers? No, but you can see I'm doing the work. Okay. And I'm not focused on the end result. I'm grateful for the process. I'm aiming to refine my process, improve my skill. Okay. So hopefully this video has provided you with value, fellas. If it has, make sure you give this video a like. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one.